Welcome back to Anderton's TV and another blindfold challenge. The blindfolded man today is Metal Ben. Gentlemen, Ben! And he's coming in shortly. Now we've got seven guitars as he walks in. All kind of mid-priced to sort of, I guess depends what you class as mid-priced anymore, doesn't it? I guess everything here is somewhere between sort of four and six hundred quid, something like that. Uh, we've got brands that are typically shreddy, you know, and we've got brands that maybe might surprise you that they're here, but I think they've all, you know, there's a reason. Uh, ben doesn't know what they are. Oh, I like the custom blindfold. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> what's the T at the end for? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to give them to him in this order, okay? Um, and as I give them to him, we'll put on the screen what they are. You can play along. Ben, your challenge du jour is not to try and tell me what brand you think they are. Although, again, you're welcome to throw a guess in if you want to. Ben works in our guitar department, so he's probably got a slight unfair advantage on that one. But what I want you to do, this is a shreddy challenge. So I want you to order the guitars one to seven as the best one to shred on, in your opinion, and your favorite sounding one. So that could be two different guitars. Cool. Uh, or it could be, there could be one like ultimate winner. Uh, and as you're playing, I shall take notes uh, and you can kind of, you know, just say anything that comes into your head. So I'm gonna give you the first guitar. We are playing everything into a Soldano SLO with the option of a clean sound, a dirty sound, and a tube screamer. Here's your first guitar. Are you ready? Have you sort of navigated where your pickup switches are and all that kind of stuff so you know where you are. So you've got a, like a Close Les Paul enough. positioned pickup switch on this one, just letting you know. He's ready to go. Let's, yeah. let's shred. You passed the shred test. The boy can shred. Um, tell me, not I said, don't want you to guess the brand or anything like that. I just want you to like, what's it feel like? What are your observations? It's nice. It's obviously a satin neck. Um, I mean, we're on clean now. There we go. Pickups are clear. Quite slinky as well. You yeah. Have to slink. Do you mean that the, the like, uh, string strings, yeah, tension so is string slinky? Tension slinky. It's so nice. slinky, it's quick. slinky string. Quest. I can't even speak. <laughs> tension and quick. So all the ingredients mm. for a shreddy guitar. Yeah. Um, okay. Well. At this stage, this is both the best and the worst guitar that you've tried. So I'm just going to take it back and change it for the second guitar, which you can see on screen now what it is. Um, here we are. Slightly more traditional blade um, pick, uh, pickup switcher. Uh, let's go full gain. <laughs>
conscious of the fact that uh, you haven't tried any of the other pickup selections yet, or as a shredder, is it only the bridge pickup that is important? Um, it's because I'm blindfolded, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's just me. Most of the time, I will just go on the bridge pickup. I just like, if you're playing under that much gain, I find a neck pickup can be quite muddy at times. You don't get that articulation, but I mean, it's... No, it's fine. Look, I'm gonna go give you a little bit of clean on yeah. this before you... Sounded like you're gonna play happy birthday then. <laughs> I mean, the next thing so, was great. Okay. Playability wise, I would mark this above what I've just said. This is number two, right? Yeah. So that's above number one. On both feel and, and sound? On both or? feel and sound, actually. Okay. Yeah. It's got it's a bit more brightness to it. So, feel and sound, we're ranking the guitars at two and then one. Okay. On the first guitar, you mentioned it had a satin neck, clear pickups, mm. slinky string te tension, and felt quick. Mm. This, you've said the neck feels great. Is there anything else you want to kind of add to that? What What is it about the sound and the feel that you like better on the second one? It's the clarity. So, like, oh, hello. Um, like under the high gain, it's just got a bit more. You hear that top, like the top end of the chord ring through more. Yeah, it's just got way more clarity in the low mids. I'm just going to put way more... You sound like Rob Chapman now. Way more clarity oh, no. in the low <laughs> mids. Do you want to sniff anything on this, if that gives it away? Or no, is that, no? I'm, okay. I'm good, Tom. Right. Let's have that one back. Thank you. And we have brand numero trois. Uh, did I just mix up Spanish and French then? I'm not entirely sure. Um, there we are. Again, you've got a pretty traditional um, oh, it feels positioning. Th oh, thinner. Feels thinner. What, the neck or the whole thing? Everything, like the body, but in particular the neck. Right. Um. Shred! You play quicker. Yeah, that is. I don't usually like a thinner neck, or maybe I do now. Um, but yeah, it's a lot faster. Um, can I have a bit more gain? I just want to see how the neck pickup is. Yeah. So just recap here, you immediately, even before you started playing, you said, feels thinner, everything feels thinner, yeah. body and the neck. And then you just went, even while you're playing, you went, wow, this is much quicker. Yeah, it uh, is. And, uh, so what about the, what is it? It's just, it's, and it's a noticeably thinner feeling neck, and that's making it, you play it faster, feels is it? Or flatter as well. And, like, the fretboard radius feels flatter, so it doesn't feel as curved. In a good way? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, I don't dislike it. Do you want some clean? Mm, yeah. Oh, you're on clean. You've got to turn. Um, 
Um, Tension. I pref prefer the feel of this, but the sound of the previous one, which is number two. I like it. So we're going uh, three, two, one for feel, dusty bin, and uh, two, three, one for sound. Yes. Got it. Got it. Um, right. Let's move on to guitar number four. You're doing ever so well, Ben, by the way. Your, your blindfold shred technique is first class. Bosh! Uh, okay, mm. we're going full blast, high gain. Go! More sizzle. More sizzle. Do you think that the guitars that are coming now in the queue are getting a slightly unfair advantage of your slightly more warmed up? Or do you genuinely, it felt like the last couple you played faster on. Do you mm. think that's just warming up or do you think that's maybe just the guitars lend themselves more to I that? I think the guitars lend, this is a lot more weighty. Um, not that makes a difference, I suppose, to the playing, but I prefer, yeah. I'm going to still stick with my choices before, so number two sounded better still. Yep. Number three, which is the last one, still plays the best. So where are you putting number four? I'd probably say, yeah, it's, it's quite spanking the neck pickup. Come on, yeah. okay, so we've got number three in first place yeah. for feel. I don't think... I think Are you this putting is... this one in second or third or fourth place? Uh, this one's going to go for third. 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 And for sound? <sighs> sound is going to go last place. Okay. Um, got it. Perfect. Thank you. Um, right. Let's go with guitar numero five. Woo! Bosh, there you are, Monsieur Ben. Guitar number five. Next Let's shred. <laughs> action there that we haven't had yet but um i did hear you say just as you picked it up in case the audience mm. missed that you went oh neck feels a lot wider yeah i don't like that it doesn't like that no oh, some people might though but you don't and this, I don't. Is, this is what you like so it's last place for feel instantly oh harsh mm, i know 
And that's purely based on, so it's not that it's got a high action or anything, it's just the width of the neck. The width, I don't You just like find it, it too uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, so if you like a wide neck, maybe check this one out. If you don't, maybe don't. What do you think of the colour? Medium grey to light grey. Yeah, so close. Sound? I feel I feel like this one is this one's not I thought you were like sounding pretty good on it, but like mm. I feel like you haven't connected with this. No. It's gonna go second from last. Of what? Sound. Wow, okay, so feel we're putting it in last place, which means it's dead yeah. easy for me to and second from last for sound. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Um, what is it? I mean, again, all I've done is neck feels a lot wider. I kind of feel like I need to fill this out. What was it that you just don't like about the the, the tone and the... I mean, you can obviously just, shred on that guitar. Yeah, but... it just doesn't quite... I don't know, as soon as I like hit a chord, there wasn't this openness I felt to it. Um, yeah, it just didn't... Just didn't quite that's grab fine. me. No. I tell you, that's fine. Like no worries at all. <laughs> he likes to be grabbed in an open relationship. This guitar did not have enough openness for him. No. Um, which is a shame, because I think, you know, generally speaking, the audience out there's going, oh, it looks great, that guitar, but hey ho, looks, as we know, ladies and gentlemen, aren't everything. So here is your penultimate guitar. Um, and let's shred! <laughs> Number one for sound, instantly. Sounds like a Cliff Richards song, doesn't it? <laughs> Wasn't he? Um, no, one for sound. I think it's wired for sound, actually. As uh, one of my mum's favourites. Uh, okay, so we're putting that as number one, which again means it's easy for me to uh, update my notes and for feel. What's it? Give us a. You know, what do you? It's, what do you? What do you? How did you connect with that? Feels like it's got a slightly flat fretboard, but there's a bit more. Neck's not as wide, which I like. And it's a bit chunkier in the neck, which I like as well. Um, yeah. And you, you immediately just went, this is number one for sound. So what, what is it about the, it's, you did say that, didn't you? Yeah, yes. yeah, it's number one for sound, 100%. It's just got like, it's got clarity, but there's a lot of beef behind it as well. Like a lot of the time I find with, you know, some sort of metal geared guitars, is that there's just no low end chug to them whatsoever, but this is actually. This had the chug, did it? Demo. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm, I'm going to throw an observation out there. This is the first guitar that you have tried that hasn't got a trim system on it. Mm. I wonder if that's contributing to its sort of fatness of, you know, chuggability, yeah. if that's a word. Um, but hey, so you're going, this so it feels like a flatter board, bit chunkier in the neck, and the sound has got the fatness. I think I might have just put words in your mouth there. Just has everything fat. Got fatness. Um, 
Uh, so, okay, so you immediately put that as number one for sound. Where are we going for feel? This is number one at the minute as well. Holy moly, so we've got an out and out, you know, undisputed king of the ring. Okay, well look, we only got one more guitar to go, so let's see if that can throw some cats amongst the pigeons. Oof! Voila, monsieur! And that's it, lucky number seven. Okay, let's shred! <laughs> shredding. Oh, did I just hear a hmm? Mm. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> a lot of easy access. A <laughs> uh, lot of easy access. Yeah, um, pickups are extremely hot on it. Very hot pickups. Um, is that a good thing or a bad thing sometimes? I think sometimes it can be a little over the top, but the frets don't feel quite as nice on this. It's just the satin feel of the neck's nice, but the fret ends the frets feel quite big, so whether it's just their, it's the general size of them or what, but it's just, yeah. Mm, not mm. digging that. So, um, okay, so um, where, are we, where are we putting that one? I know it's tough now, because yeah. you can't really remember how good or bad the first one was. No. Um, but where are we going? Sound-wise, that's third. I feel third? Like that's, yeah. Feel-wise, It's just uncomfortable. Um, Is it going like, are we talking really uncomfortable? Yeah, it's done like that at all. Wow. What, worse than the one that you said had a really wide neck on it? Yeah, this is second from last. Okay. Okay, well we have, um, we have a final result um, and we do indeed have um, an undisputed champion. So we have a single guitar that, that you felt both felt and sounded the best. So do you wanna give me that back and we can take your blindfold off and we'll discuss with the people. Right, in first place for both sound and feel with some notes saying, feels like a flatter board, bit of a chunkier neck, sound has got fatness, was the FGM. Ooh. Kind of, if we're going with guitar stereotypes. Yeah. It's the Japanese one in a sea of other Asian factories that generally aren't as good as the Japanese ones. Mm. So I kind of feel like, um, no surprise there. FGN, if you guys aren't familiar with that, is the house brand of, and I always get this pronunciation wrong, I think it's Fujigen, but right. it's one of the really big factories in Japan that makes guitars for lots of other brands, and it's their house brand. So it always comes through as great value because it hasn't got any of those other sort of brand markups on it. In second place for feel was number three, which was our Ibanez, which we'll just talk about in a minute. Mm. And for sound was number two, which was the Sire. Okay, this is getting slightly confusing here. Perhaps we'll just write on the screen what came where after this. Um, but uh, for feel, the Sire came third. And for sound, the Schecter came uh, third, which again, interestingly, you've placed in the top three the two guitars with the hardtail. I wonder if that's a sort of a, a thing. I'm that used you're... to a hardtail, so it right. is. Right, interesting. That is. Um, the rest of the results will be on screen now. So just to literally clear up for you in terms of price wise where the other ones came. So uh, Wolfgang, uh, the EVH Wolfgang standard WG is 599 
The Chapman ML1X is 429, it's our cheapest one today. Uh, the Jackson is a dinky DK3XR and is 589. And the Schecter is an Omen Elite 6 at 499. Uh, all of these guitars are available on the Anderson's website where you can find out more about them and purchase if you would like. There's probably multiple colors in each of these as well. You can go check those out. But Ben, thank you so much for coming in today and being blindfolded and shredding like a mother. Uh, and congratulations to FGN for winning this affordable shred shootout. See you next time.